I made a third one and the third one was better than the first one so I had to undo the first one to use that wall but they're not they're not the best don't look for any mistakes because I don't think they're that great yeah they'll do won't they cleaning running shoes recently I had an idea it was time to place a phone call the reason for the call, Nan, was I had an idea that I, um, I wanted to run by you. It almost looks like the kind of thing my Nan might have knitted me, like some sort of Achilles heel scarf. We discussed the potential techniques best suited to the task. You can't watch the telly when you're doing crochet, but you can watch the telly when you're doing knitting. She agreed to give it a go. Some days later, a package arrived on the doorstep. So these are the running shoes that my nan has made for me. Orange, of course. Oh, wow! Oh, those are amazing. Are these going to fit my feet? They've got the laces on and everything. Oh, those are fantastic. They even have the tongue in. I did say to my nan that I'm a size 10, so fingers crossed these are the right size. I'm going to have to try them on to find out. So the question on my mind at the moment is, judging by the size of these, will they be able to stretch enough to fit my size 10 feet? Let's find out. Look at that, that's amazing. I've been known in the past to wear some shoes that are a little more on the minimalist end. In particular, they flex quite a lot with the foot. This is a new extreme. Oh yes. You can actually see my orange socks through there. Look at the flex on them. Oh, I feel ready to go. Oh. Foot. Yeah, they're the right size. Oh, that was lucky. I know. So, the first test, the road test. Harder, concrete, tarmac, Traditional running shoes are designed to take some of the impact out. Of course, with a crocheted knitted shoe, it's not gonna give the wearer the same impact absorption, but let's test it out and see what they feel like. So actually, surprisingly, not as bad as you might think. The squidge of the crochet or the, the knit of the wool itself is giving a little bit of cushioning. I can really feel the ground. There's a bit of flex in my foot. It's quite nice. Next, the shoes would be taken to somewhere a little more scenic. Well, how beautiful is this out in the countryside? And this is the off-road test. Got a nice traily path here. Gonna take these crocheted shoes for a run and see just how they handle a little bit of off-road. Yeah, I can't lie, it feels a little bit different off-road. It's almost like I'm running barefoot. I'm having to really pick my way around the stones and over the mud. Oh my goodness, this is quite something. But I tell you what, for shoes that were made with needles, that's pretty impressive. Well, that was running in a pair of knitted or technically crocheted running shoes. Where we can become quite reliant on a chunkier shoe, it can be quite nice to mix it up with something a little more flexible. Maybe not quite this flexible, but certainly with a bit of flex to it, in my personal opinion, is no bad thing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow Jog On and the videos. And remember that Jog On is also a podcast, so search for Jog On in your favourite podcast app. Thank you for watching. I'm Harry. These are some knitted crocheted shoes, and this is Jog On. Those two shoes, how long does that take you to make those from start to finish? Oh, probably a week. Yeah, you're lucky you jog, don't you? I'm looking forward to seeing this video when you send it.